As much as the Padres had a historic trade deadline, it's been a heck of a week for the Mets. Made some good trades, got back Jacob deGrom, and then took four out of five from the Braves. This is significant. Let's do a little digging in. Look, everything is an if with Jacob deGrom, right? If he stays healthy, if he can make his starts. His arm, his shoulder, his forearm, his back, his lat, if it can stay together. If it does, though, look out. In a big matchup against his club's key opposition, DeGrom, in only his second start back, retired the first 17 Braves yesterday, striking out 12 of them. Knowing he has dealt with injuries and missed time, but in the last five seasons, Jacob DeGrom has a 1.95 ERA. Over five years, and that is the best in baseball in that stretch. We'll use ERA plus first for the park adjustments. And looky what we have here. ERA plus, DeGrom, Verlander, Max Scherzer. Two Mets, two New York Mets right on that list. If you look at war, right, even if you're looking at war, even with the time missed by DeGrom because war is a cumulative stat, he is second in that category. Scherzer's at 25, war wins above replacement. DeGrom's at 24, Aaron Nola is third. So the Mets would have a front-loaded rotation better than anyone else in the game while also making the rest of the rotation much deeper. The Mets right now have six starters all above league average. Chris Bassett, Taiwan Walker, Collars Carrasco, David Peterson, now starters three through six, all have ERAs in the threes. I showed you the ERAs and the ERA plus. 100 is league average for ERA plus. ERAs, it's probably easier for us to kind of figure out that language, but a 3.3, a 3.45, a 3.61, like we know those are good, right? And it should be noted, only two of those six, DeGrom and Peterson, were inherited by the new ownership. The other four have all been acquired in the last two seasons. All right, so the new owner, of course, is Steve Cohen. And his targeted but liberal spending have put the Mets in a new category. The new GM is Billy Epler, who just came in this year. But he continues his own fantastic season. The Mets already a fairly deep club, but they did a significant renovation at the end of their roster. This is going to get a little baseball-y here, but in short order, Dom Smith hit the IL, Travis Jankowski was DFA'd, and J.D. Davis was traded. Davis had a good run for the Mets, but the roster crowded him out of meaningful time. And now this team is getting ready to run matchups and let Buck Showalter go to work. Keep in mind, every position has a starter. In the outfield, it's Nimmo, Marte, and Kana. They're the starters in the outfield. So here now is the bench. They got three players on deadline day who add up to one and a half excellent hitters. Check out the OPS Plus over the last three years for Daniel Vogel back Darren Ruff and Tyler Naquin all above league average Ruff at 123 that's quite good but check out their numbers in a favorable platoon Vogelback is an all-star against right-handed pitching 388 542 Ruff can hit either side but he crushed left-handed pitching good on base slugging 517 Naquin also slugs over 500 against right-handers the Mets have made big moves and big money moves but the attention to detail is the kind of thing that pays off to make a team a championship club you need the finishing touches DeGrom and Scherzer yeah they lead the charge they've got big time players but the smaller moves leave them equipped to battle the elite for the championship 